Ah, comes right off. No battery. That could be the problem. Well, you know, we probably could make it a short day and just give you a battery and you're back in business with a doorbell. Well, I'd really prefer to have a reliable wired system. She's going to be difficult, so I guess we got to keep going. And there are wires here. So that's confirming that we've got a wired system. We do. And where do those wires go? They go either up to the chime or down to the basement where there's power. So we're off to the basement? Let's go. Let's see what they did here. Two panels, two family house, and here are the transformers. And why are there two transformers? One for the first floor doorbell and one for the second floor. Uh -huh. And here's what we'd expect to see, a cable going up for the doorbell. And why the second cable? There to run some other low voltage system, an intercom system, a door buzzer to unlock the front door from upstairs, something like that. So now we have to figure out which one of these goes up to the doorbell wires that we found. Absolutely. First thing though, let's make sure the transformer works. We'll test it. Here, here, and we get 21 volts. Perfect. So the transformer is good. Okay, now what we want to do is see whether this pair of wires or this pair of wires goes up to the bell. We're going to take them off. This is a toner, sends radio signals over the wires, helps us trace a wire in the house. In this case, we're going to connect it to these wires and see if the signal gets up to the doorbell button. So we are transmitting a radio signal from the basement, hopefully across these wires right here, and we'll prove that with a receiver. Right, this is a tone probe, and it's designed to pick up the radio signal, hopefully if it's here. We have a good signal there. On the first wire? On the first wire, now let's test the second wire. We get nothing. Wait, well we need both those wires, right? We need both wires. This wire is broken, somebody broke it, somebody disconnected it over the years. So we need, nail through it. we need both, does that mean we're gonna have to rerun wires now? We could run new, new wires, but remember those brown wires coming up from downstairs? Oh, you've got a plan for those. Have a plan for those. We think they go right here. Here's what I'm hoping. Kevin, you see this putty here? Mm -hmm. Looks like there used to be a door strike here so you could unlock the door from upstairs without coming down. An electric door strike, which is another typical low voltage device. Right. There are wires behind there and I'm hoping we can use them. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we find some wires in here. I see wires. All right. Oh, that is great. So now we just have to see if these go to the transformer. So let me move the toner. Sounds good. We'll test them when you get back. All right. Toner is connected. How did we do? Let's see. That one's good. That one's good. These are some new wires that we used to extend the old wires that we cleaned up inside. Mm -hmm. And these are ready to attach to the button. Two screws, put the wire on. Doesn't matter which one goes to which screw. Tighten them up. Okay, we have the top one tight. Now we have the loop on the bottom one. We slide it over the screw. It goes in the same direction that we tighten, so that as we tighten the screw, the loop tightens on in place. Here's the new chime. Give you the cover. Here's the innards. Has a couple magnetic solenoids. When you push the button downstairs, it goes. Mm. Ooh, sounds like a doorbell. It is a doorbell. Let's get it connected. So the last thing I want you to do is take the toner off the wires, put them back on the transformer, tighten them up, and we're in business. All right, Laura, let me be your first guest, or at least the first one you know about. Ah, uh, a doorbell. Awesome. Um.